Hi, my name is Tiffany Hamilton. I have a physical therapy private practice in Lexington in the Hamburg region. It's called Restorative Physical Therapy and Core Wellness. We're off Ali Sheba Way in the Stonecrest Office Colony. So it's right off Pink Pigeon onto Ali Sheba, and then you'll see us on the right in the Stonecrest Office Colony. Um, the phone number here is 859-309-1766, or you can visit our website at www.rptandcw.com. Welcome to the clinic. This is my physical therapy private practice. We opened here um, in the Hamburg area off Ali Sheba Way in January and have just been growing ever since. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour. It's very homey in here. It feels That's like you're- I was going for in here. I wanted patients to feel comfortable. All right, so this is our little cardio room. It's not a big space in here, but I feel like we've made pretty good use of this space. If you come in this way, we have a little bit more equipment that we can work with. We do have some parallel bars, which is nice for anyone who's having any balance deficits. And <clears throat> do you do uh, comprehensive like gait and balance, balance uh, exams and stuff? Yes. Okay. And we can even, mm -hmm. we have a treadmill over there. We can do some treadmill assessment as well for any athletes or runners. Okay. What's this? <laughs> this is a modality station. So this is where our hot packs. Oh, okay. This is a nice um, new updated version of a hydroculator. Okay. <laughs> and cold packs over there. Like you have so many gadgets. <laughs> I mean, who knows what these are for? <laughs> Hand therapy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so you do everything from head to toe? Yes. And okay. so back here we have some treatment beds, and we'll come back and talk a little bit more about that machine in a minute. I'll bring you on through and show you our private treatment room. The clinic is pretty private. Um, you'll be in here for your treatment with just me, one-on-one -on -one for your treatment. Um, but for anyone who wants a, just an added amount of privacy, we can bring you in the private treatment room as well. So this is not your. This is not going to be super busy with people. Right. It's going to. So It'll do you have one, be, two people here to yeah, start? Yeah. For the most for the most part, it's just one on one. Yeah. Okay. Just some um, a little bit of overlap in the transitional period. You know, on the hour is all. But usually, I don't bring the next one back until I'm finished. Okay. With the patient. That's all great. right. So if you want to come on back this way, I just wanted to introduce you to the newbie. So this is an electrical stimulation device that works differently than traditional e stim or a TENS unit because it uses DC current. Um, I'm the first physical therapist in Kentucky to be able to offer this to the patients and it's, we utilize it just in your physical therapy treatment session. But basically we're able to scan your body and identify spots on your body where there's a disconnect in your nervous system. Um, it allows us to take more of a nervous system approach to your healing um, by balancing out the autonomic nervous system. So for people who are very, you know, sympathetic driven, um, just heightened and they're having difficulty overcoming something that's been going on for a long time, it helps with that and helps us just essentially speed recovery. I have a lot of patients that get really like, they're just tight, you know, they've always been like that. And like yes. you said, they're like very sympathetic driven. So I'm thinking um, for my patients that have Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, that kind of whole posterior chain's really contracted yeah. and tight. Is this something that we could use? Yes, definitely. And to help kind of loosen them up. So if you're kind of a quote tight person, then this would be a good machine for yes. that. Okay. We okay. actually have different protocols that we use with it, and we have some loosening protocols, specific loosening protocols for the anterior and posterior chain. Okay. So oh, that's that would neat. be really helpful with that. Okay. And then I also do dry needling, and sometimes you know I like to think of that as um, kind of taking a nervous system approach as well, and. Sometimes it's really good to pinpoint a specific area and pull in blood flow and, and kind of stimulate the nervous system to heal itself. So that's what I utilize that and this the most for is just to, to trigger your body to do what it should do on its own and to heal itself. Okay, I mean, it sounds amazing. I yeah. want it like all over my body all it's the time. Getting me, <laughs> it's getting me faster results with people, I have to say. I'm, I'm really pleased with the results I'm seeing. Um, one of the interesting things that we were talking about before we started filming was the pelvic floor because mm -hmm. I had asked uh, Tiffany to just touch on like what's podiatry related and we were discussing how the pelvic floor is definitely connected. Mm -hmm. So if you could just touch on that and yeah. I'd be a little better. So sometimes um, I specialize in pelvic health as well. So a lot of times people don't realize that their back or their hip problem or their leg pain, for example, 
may actually be coming from their pelvic floor um, and vice versa. So if you've had back problems for a long time, it can cause problems down the chain, but it can also cause problems in your pelvic floor region. And the only way to address that is to do, you know, the specialties, the pelvic health specialty. Um, but you can also, for example, do a pelvic floor assessment sometimes and be able to pinpoint a pain that's been occurring in your leg for quite some time and you just couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So, so it is often related, um, especially for any women who have, who have had children. It tends to show up in places that you don't expect it. I was gonna say, how would I know as a patient if I'm potentially my foot pain or leg pain is coming from the pelvic floor? Like what questions can I ask myself to see if like this is a possible? Yeah, so I think um, day to day we ignore things sometimes. We don't really think about it um, or we just get used to it. But if you're ever having any issues with incontinence or urinary leakage, a lot of people think that's just normal. Um, after having children especially, mm -hmm. they think that's normal, but it's not. There's something going on there that can usually be rehabbed and, and made better. So if you can't jump on the trampoline anymore, um, or if you're having any pain, um, like s s during specific activities. Mine's like, like jumping running. jacks. Yeah, <laughs> jumping I jacks. I thought it was like an age thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. Or if you, um, are a runner and you've been having a lot of hip pain, especially like anterior hip pain, and you just think all the time it's my hip flexor, yeah. for example, or your piriformis. A lot of runners get, you know, like piriformis issues or IT band issues. All of that's related and sometimes can actually be coming from the pelvic floor. That's really neat. So you could do an exam and identify anybody coming in yeah. and connect the dots. Yes, kind of try to identify the source of the problem. Yeah. And that's one thing that this is helpful with too, because I can scan the nervous system mm -hmm. and see where these hot spots are in the nervous system. And sometimes they're in places you never expected. Really? So you treat those hot spots and then these things get better, sometimes even away from the site. All right, well, sounds good. Well, this is something that is only offered in Kentucky, which I love doing this for my patients to show you all the options out there, especially in Lexington. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon.